alive. Just my crotch on screen, sorry. Hello. I am Peter, aka Nate Hawk, aka the star of the show. I'm just waiting for Oscar to join us here in the stream zone for playing some uh, near automata. Pretty hyped for this. I've not actually touched this game before. License. What's in the license? Nothing. Let's see what Oscar has on this thing. Ryuji in the background. Didn't know if Oscar was a Ryuji guy. What's this? Summer lesson. What's Oscar been up to? Hmm. Never played Danganronpa. Got some Blaze Blue. Atari Flashback Classics. More Atari Flashback Classics. Sit up. I'm not gonna do the Geraint thing. We're just kinda like lies down in the sofa. It's too weird. Find that don't weigh too high. It's time for some knee. Oscar comes in with force. I do. Uh, I hope everything's working fine. So have you finished Nier yeah. yet? I You've finished been doing it, right? Route A. So route no. A. So no is That's the That's a bad route though, isn't it? So I'm told. That's no, a good one. Like it gets real good around like route. See? Apparently it's yeah. Apparently uh, the third time through is when it gets like real. But I've been enjoying the first route a lot. So you have to f actually finish the game <sighs> twice in order for it to finally get good. Hmm. Yes, basically. That seems yes. like a pretty dodgy proposition to me. To uh, it makes sense. I've okay. messed up this entire. I messed up this stream completely. Look at that. I've broken. What have it. you? What have you done, Oscar? <laughs> Nothing. Hold on. I want to move us slightly over here. It's fine, we haven't started yet properly. Just ask you screwing things up. I'll just I'll cut it from here when we upload it. Or I'll probably forget. Uh hope the audio mix is okay. Hello everyone. <laughs> Hello, everyone who's tuned in to support us nice. in checking out Near Automata. Near Automata. Let's begin. Okay, let's begin. I've not touched this game before. Just my disclaimer, I have not played this game in any way, shape, or form. I did buy it <coughs> yesterday, because it's like 35 <laughs> quid on PSN, which is the magic price for me to buy a game like this, I think. Um, although I heard a lot about it. I am going to be Nate Hawk. Yeah, so it is, it is good. I played, um, so yeah, I played it Are they going to call me Nate Hawk in the game now? No. Am I still going to have to be 2B? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then the second time through is kind of like the same events from a slightly different perspective. And what are we playing on? Slightly. What are we playing on? Normal. Normal. Most enjoyable difficulty, probably. <laughs> what is it? Okay. I think hard removes like lock on. Okay. Normal seems fine. It's not a very hard game. If okay. you, well, I mean, it might be hard if you're not as familiar with stuff well, like Devil it, May Cry. It's platinum games. Yeah, I mean, it is a platinum game. Everything game. So, um, I have confidence have that the harder difficulties trapped. should be good. Yeah, hopefully. it's not like a Ninja Theory it's game, but it's okay on normal. Then it becomes a piece of shit on hard. Is this a curse? Yeah. Some kind of Take that, DMC. To be fair, the definitive the edition did make some pretty good changes to that game. Never touched it again. Never touched it again. It's probably one of the one of the best definitive edition. Ah, I see. Like um, releases, because they actually did stuff to it. It's got a lot of shmup elements as well. Nice. Like That's what we like. Did you do the demo or anything? No. Oh wow. I'm not done anything. It's to be. We've passed the 50 kilometer threshold and are proceeding toward the target. Understood. Once you reach their anti air. Our PS4 is taking off again. To <laughs> yeah. Then destroy the Goliath class unit by any means necessary and gather what data you can. Understood. See, I did that with mine though. I. Oh, they got fucked up. That didn't go well. What did you do with your PS4? Uh, yeah, I cracked it open and like cleaned it from the inside. 
And uh, that that did help in terms of the whole thing. Huh. I'd be nervous to do that. So. Oh man, this is not going good. Going good for them. To be fair, I had control and I didn't realize. To be fair. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Lots of jokes happening in this stream. I got, uh, yeah, I got hit. Like I could, I could move around, do stuff, but then I didn't, didn't move around. Yeah, I really like this opening. In the way it um, kind of teaches you stuff. Mm. Ah, I just hey, like really walk right into that. <laughs> I'm pretty terrible. Uh, R2. R2, okay. uh, it doesn't teach you everything in like the first level. There are some complexities that come up later. Mm. Um, it was pretty good the way it, it teaches you to play. I mean, as far as playing game stuff goes, it's kind of on the simpler end of things. Yeah, so it's not like a revenge style. No, but you can kind of customize the way you play with these like chips. So okay. you have like a loadout of chips, and they all sort of modify different things, like yeah. more attack or it, or it, one of them adds like a slowdown after you do a dodge at the right time. Like okay, that. yeah. Not as much as which time, but that kind of thing. Mm. So you can kind of tweak how you play. Turn it into a robot. Ooh. So now it becomes twin set. Ah, I see. Nice. Can I still do a dodge? Can I still this do is a thing? Oh, I have I have a laser sword. Part of me feels like Nero Automata might just be an excuse for Yoko Taro to get way more people into smut schmucks. <laughs> That's ah! Oh, I didn't get hit by that. It looked like I did. Um, everyone except 2VA is dead. There are 26 different endings to this game. Well, that's. One for each letter of the alphabet. Some of them are very minor, though. Okay, minor how? So, like, you just—I think if you die during the sequence, you get different. You get an ending. Ah, I see. But it's really hard to do because it, like, you have like an auto heal thing. Yeah. With your items that you already got, so you have to like really try hard to to die completely at this point. Okay, you have to like be a special kind of incompetent. Or start oh, hunting fuck. for all those endings. Or just bad at games, like me. Yep. I like that this is like the third different shoot 'em up way of playing they've introduced so far. Yeah, it kind of takes you through a whole bunch. It's, it's nice, I like that. It's cool. Little bu bu bullet hell action and stuff. Yeah, it's a bit like, am I am I playing the right game? Did I put the right game in the machine? <laughs> ah, that is quite cool. I'm thinking that. But yeah, I did, I did buy this game. It is on my two playlist. It's on sale right now on UK uh, PSN, at least for like £35 for yeah. the day one edition already. Which is which is There's very nice. That is like game. the right price for this game, I feel like. Hopefully it encourages a lot more people to take a chance on it. Um, it's been getting very good reviews. Yeah. And rightly so. We gave it a 5. Nice. 5 out of 5. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, I am. I am gonna play it. It's just that I got myself into like the weird position that I'm playing three different Japanese RPGs at the same time. Yeah, that's rough. Um, so I, I can't. I I don't have time to for anything in my life anymore. Well, one good thing about Nier Automata is because it doesn't really play like a traditional JRPG. It doesn't feel as long at all. Yeah. And it isn't really the first run through took me about twenty hours. Mm. That, uh, is a, that is a solid amount of time. That's a solid amount of time, but I was doing quite a few side quests and stuff. Too. Yeah. Yeah, she popped up. Hatched. So she was, she was driving... Where did she keep her sword while she was in the cockpit? This is what I want to know now. Uh, inside. The... This is a big sword. Yes, I'm aware of that. So I like this. So you okay, come out there. Attack. But the controls are the exact same as the shmup. Mm, yeah, so they do the same. You have a heart attack there, you dodge there. And if you press R1. Oh, wait. Hold on. Nah. You have like a machine yeah. that can shoot around you all times. <laughs> Is this the thing that I got like tons of skins for when I got the uh, Day 1 edition? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, because I've downloaded it, but I've not actually started the game yet. 
Oh, uh, nice. Because uh, I've, um, I'm still playing, uh, still playing Persona Five, and uh, yeah, I, yeah, I picked, uh, I finally picked Trails of Cold Steel back up. I'm going to finish that now after like five months of playing it. Uh, it is good though; it's, it's really good. One. And of course, I've been playing some Akiba's Beat. So that's three RPGs at the same time. I'm really enjoying two of them. Um, I'm not gonna tell you which two. Uh, yeah, sometimes you just gotta grind. Oh, oh I, need to, I need to dodge that. Definitely need to dodge that. Do I have a block? Yeah, they got. Uh, I don't think so. No, I think it's just dodge. Oh, okay. Uh, you can you can uh, upload a counter chip if you want. Okay. But you. Can't buy that problem. Oh, this this is the part that was in the demo, right? I didn't play this. <laughs> Just played the. No, I've seen footage of the demo. Yeah, yeah, yeah actually. I think so. Um, so yeah, most of the enemies have like a tell where they'll do like a red flash. Mm. It's actually quite a while usually before they attack. Yeah. Um, I think the same thing can is I, the same thing is in Bayonetta, and I think that's yeah. So you kind of always want to be shooting them constantly. Yeah, I mean, this, it, you you get to put damage on things that you wouldn't normally mm, in situations. Yeah. Some of them do have like bulletproof shields and stuff. Uh, oh, you can throw the thing when you're. Can I do that? So. Oh, you got like a charge attack you can do. Um, I think some of them might be throws. Generally, there's not too much complexity to the combos. It's just you've got your light combo and your heavy combo, and all yeah. you really changes when you go into your heavy combo. Mm. And different weapons have different combos. And you can have two weapon sets at once you can toggle between. This pod program. Oh, it's like he just did a big laser. Ah. It's got a cool off. The laser's pretty good. You can get different ones. So when you upgrade your weapons, it kind of extends the combo as well as just um, powering them up. Mm. So you've got like, I, I don't know exactly what the base one is, but something like four light attack, and then you've got like two heavy attack. Like. Sweet dodge, I did say so myself. Oh, broke your thing. Oh yeah, no problem. Oh, someone's helping me out though. Is she a demon hunter? Why would she be hunting demons? Make sure they all have like blind tolls, like the demon hunters in Warcraft. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get that. <laughs> you, you can't, you don't even get Warcraft references. What's wrong with Why you? Why would I get It's not Japanese. Is it not more enough? No. So, was that big old buzzsaw the Goliath you came here to take out? No, just another defensive system. Oh, well, uh... I guess we have to find the target then. Huh? So the this kid is the one that you play later on, right? All right. I'll work my way inside. Uh yeah, without going into any spoilers or anything, yeah, basically. Yes. Well, every single video review yeah. I've seen like talks about this. So Where am I going? Where am I going? I'm going down here. Yeah. So he's like your buddy. You're like um it's like a buddy cop type situation. Okay, so you know, you, you meet him on this job but then you're like paired up to to like do the thing after this. Stuff you can pick up off the ground, enemies drop stuff, you know how it is. It's like a little currency okay, that they drop. Fine, what's this? What is this? Did you uh, play the original game? Uh, I did. Because I haven't. Um, yeah, I... Um, is, it, is it okay? That, that, was, that was a long time ago. That was before Boomerang. I had love film back then. Oh no. Where am I going? Am I actually jumping into this place? No, just go on that, go down that path there. Up path? Up path? On the left? On the left? No, no, no. Where are you? <laughs> oh, there, it is. there it is. There it is. You're pretty good at games. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, am I meant to collect rings? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna haunt me forever. Where am I going? No, I want to know, just know what the rings did. Like, what even? What's the point of rings? What do rings do? Did it work like you Mario? Hits. Did it protect you? What, what did it do? 
It is kind of weird having a JRPG with like hack and slash controls because there is like leveling up and your mm. stats increase and stuff. Yeah. But at the same time, it's kind of like, what if you're just good at hack and slashes? It doesn't really matter what level you are. Mm. It just depends how long it takes to do the damage. Yeah. I've never really reached a point in this game where I felt like I needed to grind or anything. Mm. You missed a pick. What? What did I pick? What, what am I missing? There's the thing. It might just be useless. There's no need to Copper pick everything. Copper or... There's no need to pick everything up, but... I have OCD about such things. Yeah, I see. Oh, you're gonna struggle with Horizon <sighs> Zero Dawn. It's on my boomerang list. <laughs> oh, man. I, I got... don't think I can do that game. That game is way too stressful. I got Look, the... there's a treasure chest over there. What, what, what? Where is it? I see it! Okay, how do you get there? Uh, I have to remember for maybe some other time you're close. Oh, you can turn on lights. Mm, yeah. Fancy. So it's kind of shifted to 2D here. There's yeah. a lot of sort of perspective shifts and changes throughout, really, especially in the dungeon areas. Mm. Which this. Is. Oh, can I go this way? What's here? If you uh, tap R2 to do an evade, you'll also then go into a sprint as well. Oh, okay. I don't think it really tells you. Ah, that's good to know. It's quite fast, and there. you can adjust the movement speed as well. This was what I was looking for. Oh. I jump off and accidentally jump off. Small recovery. Small recovery for a small lady. Yeah, recovery items are pretty useful. Exit confirmed closed. So open. Negative. Nearby enemies are jamming our signal. Nothing's ever easy. Soundtrack's pretty good. It's a little bit ghost in the shelly in places. Ah yeah, so once you've done an evade, as you just did, it gives you like a unique response. So mm. depending if you if you press shoot immediately afterwards or light attack or heavy attack, you'll yeah. do like a more powerful move. Okay. Depending on the weapon. So I think with this your light attack would knock it knock them up in the air mm. if they can be knocked up. And I think um, your heavy is just like a big knockback. Oh, there was a guy. There's one guy that shouldn't do that. More dudes. More dudes. All the dudes. Yeah, it's pretty cool the way there's like a whole bunch of different systems. And they kind of end up working together better than you would think. Mm. In a way, it kind of makes me wish there were more JRPGs that had like fantastic hack and slash systems. Makes it a little bit more manageable. Yeah, makes things more fun, I suppose. I've never been great with the whole like grinding thing. You know, ma'am, I'm glad you're here. Why? Scanners like me mostly work alone. Scouting out enemy lines and all that. I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. Emotions are prohibited. Emotions are Sorry, prohibited. And another thing, stop calling me ma'am. Huh? It's unnecessary. All right then. To be it is. So yeah, he's called 9S because he's a scanner. And to be is like, I guess battle. Mm. Just like a combat one. Uh, Go up that ladder if you want. There was a dude down there that I didn't kill. I guess. Oh, he came up after me, I think. I think it's another one dropped down. Oh, that's just... Go ahead and fuck him up. Yeah. Makes me feel better. It's in here. Oh, I have to stand in front of it to open it. Ah! Oh. Okay. No problem if you just do it properly. If you just doesn't get good. It's 
Got a cannon. It's always weird for me to be pressing face buttons and holding a shoulder button at the same time. Like my my hands just kind of want to do one or the yeah, other. Yeah, there are different uh, controller setups you can do, but the basic one's fine for me. So if we don't destroy it, they'll just keep coming. With lock on, one thing to note is you can just tap it. You don't have to hold it, mm. which some people don't realize. I like how she just kind of has her sword just like floating behind her. Wait, what am I doing here? Go through the <laughs> go through the door. Well, that does not read as a door. Look at this. If I, had, if I hadn't it. looked at 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 the thing, then I wouldn't have it's seen got, it as a it's door. It's got a light above it saying it could be open, just like uh, all of the other doors. No, I didn't see that. <laughs> it's, that it's the only way to go at the end of the park. Second time I've been confused by the environments in this game. Hmm. Hmm. I, I had no issues with it at all. Um. So here is forcing into like a top-down perspective. Mm -hmm. More schmuck stuff going on. What's the combat in the first game like? I mean, obviously it's nothing like. That. Uh, it's uh, it's like a bad hack. Oh. It's, it does have elements of like shoot 'em up stuff. Okay. But like nothing is particularly well executed. There's a lot of like interesting ideas, and then nothing is particularly good. I mean, it's a good reason to get Platinum involved, I guess. Mm. Yeah, I'll pretty much buy anything to work on. Oh, yeah, did you. Uh... No, I didn't buy Star Fox Zero. <laughs> oh, oh, I got you. Stop. Did you play the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game? No, I didn't. Play that. Did you play the Legend I, of Korra? I, I didn't play the Actually, no, I did. Yeah, I did play the Legend of Korra. I just didn't get very far. It wasn't that exciting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but well, I still buy it. I suppose. I mean, one of the things with Platinum these days is that they're very much like guns for hire. So they'll do like you give them money and they will just like make whatever you want made. Um, I don't know how much they cost. A lot of that I stuff. Make a game for me. Like when they make stuff they care about, they make really good stuff. But if they're just like doing a thing for money, like Korra or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, then it can be like insane wank. It's terrible, terrible stuff. What's up here? There's a dude there. Oh, punch me in the face. What? Just accessing random nonsensical data from the old world. Foundries like this always remind me of Max Payne for some reason. Max Payne? It always reminds First. me of uh, Metal Gear Solid. Oh yeah, I Yeah, guess. that part where you have to like heat and cool the key cards. It's the worst part of that game. This just takes you back to where I was. Yeah, that's not where I want to go. Kind or of is it? Some shortcuts. Not really. I mean, I'm assuming that's like a, a mission marker on my yeah thing, right? Yeah, it's back this way. I suppose go this way. Yeah. Is yeah. there like backtrack elements in the levels? Like, why did I unlock a shortcut? Yeah, there? You, there are like missions that will take you back here later. Um, oh, there's a ton of dudes! So many dudes! Well, I have. Oh, they're all level 1. Hard packs. You can use your laser, maybe. Remember the laser? Yeah, but it, it, it takes so long to charge. Fine. Fine. That didn't really do me that much, to be honest. Not much, but if you line them up, knock them down like bowling pins. What's kind of cool about the chips is you can also take chips out as well. Okay. So like the HUD and stuff is like a chip. Mm. So you can just take out the HUD chip. And that would actually give you more room to customize other stuff as well. Oh, yeah. If you're willing to sacrifice the basic things like health bars. Yeah, who needs a health bar? Or if you just want to make it look pretty. Pretty. Make it look pretty. Oh, yeah, I think there's lots of DLC outfits. Nice. Is there a bikini outfit? I don't think so. 
but maybe. <laughs> I, I wanna know. This is the important information. When do I get my 2B bikini outfit? Uh, they just released a 2B skin for Gravity Rush 2. Ah, nice. For free. I have that game as well. That's also on my two playlist. I have like a bunch There's of games. There's a lot. This I never finished the first uh, Gravity Rush. Can you play Gravity Rush 2 without having played the first one? You kinda need to play the first one, right? I have no idea. I always feel really bad. I can't play a sequel if I haven't played like the original. Uh, it depends. I mean, this is kind of a sequel, right? And I haven't played the first one. Well, then you're doing a bad thing, Oscar. You're a bad person doing bad things. Like, I have no idea how the story of the first one would like link up with this. It would seem really weird, but. Well, it's just set in the same world, though, isn't it? At the same time? Way earlier? I, I doubt know. it. Um, I didn't realize near, the first Nier was set on like Earth. Is it? I guess it is. Is it? I don't know. It's been a long time since I played that game. Because this is just like it. Earth, I think. It's like normal. And there's some serious buttage going on when she's running. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, the bulletproof ones, you can just hit them and smash the bulletproof stuff. But I was doing a thing! Why did you- how did you punch me when I was doing a thing? I think the laser might hurt them even if they're bulletproof. Lasers aren't bullets. That's just a fact. Uh, Mikami in chat says it's actually the third game. Is that including, like, Gestalt and... The other one as two, or is there another one? I don't know. About. I mean, technically, it's all a spin-off of Dragon God, right? Uh, <laughs> it's no, I don't know. It beats me. <laughs> I mean, I, I I did play the original Nier, and I didn't. It wasn't that memorable. It was a thing that I kind of like had to grind my way through. I right really want to play it because I like this, but uh -oh. I feel like it's going to feel weird because it won't be hack and slash like this. It's, not it's definitely going to be a letdown. Like, you need to, like, really love yourself in near lore. If you I don't go know. back and, and, and I, play the original. I'm capable of doing that kind of thing. People were like, you know, if you're going to get into Persona, play 3 or 4 first. And I was like, no, I'm going to play Persona from the beginning. And Persona 1 and 2, I like. I feel like I prefer them in a way to the later one. But then I, I, I'm not going back. Mm. Is the key thing there. Yeah, I suppose if you play, like, imagine if you played yeah, five and, and then try to go back and, and, and play play for some one. Like, how would you do with that? Because after It'd be weird five, because they took out so many. I'm not sure I could even play four anymore after playing five. It's tough. I mean, I'm doing three at the moment. Um, like, even just playing uh, with, like, the random, uh, randomly generated dungeons is, is, is rough. Mm. Yeah, um, Yeah, I don't really know much about Dragon Guard either. Um, I know we had a big Dragon Guard 3 retrospective on the site a little while back. I guess, are, th are those hack and slashy as well? Uh, this way. I think I think my problem here is just that our, our, our screen is very dark. Look at that. Maybe. It's a very dark. You can adjust the brightness settings in a bit. Once it does, because it, this is like the first bit, and then afterwards it's gonna like sort of start it up again. Mm, okay. If that makes sense. So it'll, it'll, it'll slow down and then introduce you a bit more to the world. I'm trying to like understand just where I am. Like what, what kind of like place the is this? Yeah, it's a factory. Well, what does this factory do? Probably makes weapons. I think they said that at some point. I can't remember. Well, they said that, but all I'm doing is like running through these things, and I can't like tell what these are and what they do. Well, what you're after is, and they, they did explain this, is that the machines have some kind of new big weapon, mm. which is apparently around here. That's what we're shooting the lasers at the beginning. So your job is to go and take it out. It's like a machines versus androids thing, because mm. you're on the human side. Because I'm, I'm human-ish. Yeah, As well, the, the humans still exist, and they made you yeah. to claim back the Earth from the aliens. Yeah, the aliens made the machines, or something. Screw the machines. 
But that's kind of like the point with with near though, isn't it? That like the differences the aren't that clear cut. Bridge. It's a bit of a hike. But Maybe. Should we check it out? Maybe. Hmm. We'll have to see. It's not like command to get a location wrong. I guess even they get bad intel from time to time, huh? Hmm. I wouldn't bet on that. Oh, something's happening. <laughs> she does have a great design. Both yeah. of them do. I really like the design of all of the Yorha, Yora, Yora, Yorha, Yorha, Yorha units. Do you feel like she's probably not wearing the the most like practical combat outfit? I'll just take. Ow! 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 Yeah, they do a nice thing here where they um, start you out with the auto recovery thing on. They will automatically use the healing item for you mm. when you fall under a certain amount of health. Otherwise, you would have died. Anyway. <laughs> How do you use healing items? Uh, it'll explain to you later, I think. I think it's just down on the D pad. Oh, yeah, there it is. Up is to change weapon sets. And right. I have no idea what's going on. Well, I'm knowing it. Just, well, uh, uh, I, make sure you dodge lots. Yeah. Is so my advice in pretty much any kind of game. I love how all the enemy names are like this, this random alphabet that you can't read. <laughs> um, well, to be can't read. Oh no, we're doing this now. This is not what I want to see. Lasers. Yeah, even if you dodge, you're still going to get... Uh, if, oh. Did I did I just die? Please don't tell me you died. Is it supposed to be hard to die? I feel like that was inevitable. Hey, we're going for all the endings. That's why we did this. I think you have to start from the beginning now. <laughs> shall, shall I do it? Shut up, Oscar. Shall I go back to that point? Oh, no. I think we're going to have to start from the beginning. Surely not, right? No, but my vitals are green. Not I really, bad. I really hope not. But I have a feeling that we will. This is depressing. Wow, I can't believe you I can't believe you, you made us made us do this. Oh wait, click continue. Continue well, well clearly clearly okay. twenty eight minutes in. I don't know. Endings W. It doesn't just because it says twenty eight minutes, it's remembered how long we've played it for, but mm. Okay, no, there is a checkpoint. Thank you for making me feel less Surely there, in my heart, Makami. Surely there would be a checkpoint, right? See, everything perpetually trapped that lives is designed to end. Never ending spiral of Wait. life and death. Is this a curse? This doesn't seem like a checkpoint. Kind of no, Makami, you lied to me! This looks like the beginning of the game. Alright, I'll do this now. No, I'll do it. Okay. Let me do it. We'll ever have Let me do it. Kill him. I expect nothing but impeccable gameplay. How was there not again? Checkpoint, that's crazy. I don't know, but you shouldn't have died. <laughs> but what happens if you play 20 minutes and then you go, oh shit, I gotta go to work? Do you just start from the beginning again? Yeah, I guess. So uh, you need to have, like, no obligations in your life in order to play this game. It's just asking you to get through the introduction of the game, and then that was immediately a long after introduction that. Of the game. It depends how quickly you play. I'm stressed out now. Didn't happen to me when I played it the first time, is all I'm gonna say. I think it might have, but it, it did. I think it just lied to us. Nope. I probably should have, because then I could have got the extra ending. I don't even know how I'm gonna get that ending now. I guess maybe once you've played it three times, you loop back around. I guess we'll just have to go for every ending. Alert. That's the only way we can make this make sense. But what? Well, how does the ending change if you if you have to restart? Because at this point, you might as well just like delete your save game and then start all all over again. From no, like because you have scratch. to collect all the endings. We got one ending, which was everyone died because you fucked up. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I suppose that is 
So now that's one ending checked off. Well, I think that that's a little bit cheap to call that an ending, as in like oh, game over. Well, some of them are different, and if you get game overs in certain situations, in certain certain ways. Down. Mm. You gotta collect them all, like Pokemon, except different. So I guess it is a bit annoying that you have to like lose progress a lot to uh, to get some of them. But if you died immediately here, it wouldn't have been such a big deal. It would be the same ending. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. Multiple surrounding enemy air units confirmed. Requesting permission to assume mobile configuration. Permission granted. But we'll just say we're going for all of the endings, and then then that makes it acceptable. <laughs> Ending W. So we got broken wings. Broken wings. Mm. But I like that song. You ever heard that song, Oscar? By the Cutting Crew. Cutting Crew. No. Yes. Captain, I think. But I never even got to see what was shooting the big lasers. No, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't even get to the boss. That's the pre-boss. <laughs> it's the worst. Yeah, it's gonna take us ages to get to, the, <laughs> get to the good stuff. <laughs> Trying to think where the next ending would be. Ending H would be the next one. That's not quite a way into the game. What's ending H? You have to see when we get. Uh, you yeah, have to I wait suppose. five hours. Five hours. Maybe ten at your rate. <laughs> Could have probably been there by now. Well, I just leveled up. Um. Yeah, it doesn't keep experience or anything. I don't think because you were level three before. Yeah. At one point. Uh, losing progress though. <laughs> yeah, I just have like so much time on our hands to do this. Yeah, Makami points out going for all endings without a guide would be almost impossible. But I know where some of them are. I have done um, one run through of the first, the first route so far on my personal save. I can't believe you did this to us. At least skip the cutscene. But that's, that's not right. It's a bad thing. Skip cutscenes. Just skip cutscenes. People who've already played this just mere minutes ago. Uh... That took like, like 20, how long did it say? 25 minutes? Uh, the, it was like almost half an hour. Ah, oh, jeez. You'll do it faster this time. I feel like I did it pretty fast last time. When you knock him down like that, you can press circle to like do a finishing thing where you like kick him. Small enemies usually won't get a chance to do that because they're small. Hmm. Let's see. But this guy. Probably too early. It's, you probably go for it earlier than you think, mm. than you used to with other ones. Uh, XX seven W. Is that our target? Negative. This enemy is unrelated. Proposal: dispatch it as swiftly as possible. You don't say. You got this. You got this now. You know what you're doing. Do I? Or do I? Laser communications recovered. It's basically the exact same enemy that killed you. It is. There were there were two of them, and they were like doing stuff. So 
So in Nier, do you play as an android? Or is that like, is that a spoiler maybe? Or... Um, I don't remember. He's got white hair, right? Yeah, so. he plays the dude, the dude man. I'm almost dying to this thing. Yep. Did you see that? See how I am? Uh, I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. Oh, goodness. Ah, I beat it though. Yeah, save points aren't too few and far between after you get to this point. You're 2B, right? My name's 9S. I'm here to provide support. Copy. So, no. Oh, I've got a. All right. Come on. Hit that dash. Find that butt dash, though. Slide butt action, though. Oh, that's over the top. I need to use a laser for that. <laughs> I mean, you could just run past a bunch of enemies. Could, but then I wouldn't be killing them. Yeah, but if you end up dying again, then it would have been pointless to kill them. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think that's going too deep. But what if uh, I I needed that XP, and then the only way I could uh, could could do it was like if I killed those guns. You gotta improve your dodge game, I think. Hmm. Maybe. And then you can get those powerful moves that you can do in response, like um, the knock up and the knock back and the, the missile. Let's pick up this, this copper ore. Yeah, the missile is pretty useful, at least early in the game. It is. I think it's pretty useful all the way through, actually. Ma'am, what is it? I was going to send you the map data I collected earlier. Do it. Do it. Just do it. Just do it to it. Okay. We're doing this thing. Mining on the boat. But let's see where, 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 you, where did you go from here? I didn't see these guys last time. Uh, that's because you went a different way. If you, were, if you were to jump across toward the screen down there, you'd get to that chest that you saw before. Yeah, I, I, I picked up that chest over nah, there. That is a different chest. Okay. The one that was in the background? Mm -hmm. So open. No, you definitely did Different chest. <laughs> anyway, you, you didn't get it this time. Didn't need it this time. I think you're making good time though. Yeah, we're just hurrying now because Oscar's whining so much. I didn't even know you could die that second. <laughs> 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 well, clearly, <laughs> just you know, for for the purposes of education, of edutainment. Yeah, well, I missed out on the ending, so it's me who lost out. Mm. And obviously, you don't have to wait till you get to the very end of the level before dying to get the ending. You just do it whenever. So which of like the hacker slashes you played the most? Like Devil May Cry? Uh yes. Devil May Cry would be the thing that I played the crap out of. Gotta get that Dante action. Yeah, it's between like Metal Gear Rising you know, or I'm glad you're here. Devil May Cry 3 Why? probably. Scanners me. like me mostly work Quite a lot of Ninja Gaiden too, that shit. That's a solid one. A Didn't like two. Oh, I think the first one was way better. Uh, I couldn't really get into the first one because I played two first and it was just a little bit too different. Huh? It's unnecessary. All right then. Two B it is. Series doesn't get much love these days. Probably because three wasn't that good. Yeah. They did change it in the um, Razor's Edge. The definitive thing. I think they added like blood back in or something. But I don't know how much they changed. Um, I played that game. Um, I think I dropped it, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I think it had. It was one of those games that had that issue where um, it locks you into animations, and then but then you're not um, strike invincible during the animation. Yeah. 
Which is which is the worst thing? I hate that. Like, there there is nothing worse for me. When it's like, oh yeah, you have to activate this long extended animation, but and you can also get hit during this animation. Be careful about what moves you put out when. So you're just gonna like get stuck. Be careful. Yeah, Ninja Gaiden 2 does have some some bad parts probably. But overall, I liked it a lot. One of the most irritating things for me about Ninja Gaiden 2 was it had those um, achievements that were like complete the game using only this weapon. Yeah. Which really discouraged like using variety. Yeah. And it kind of made it going through each time a bit of a slog when really I wanted to. Yeah, it's like it's designed to make the game more of a grind. Really. Yeah. Because you needed to beat it like seven to eight times or something ridiculous to get all the achievements. And it discourages you from ever playing it through and changing weapons. Yeah. Which is dumb. Because it has like quite a few cool weapons and I want to try them all. I can punch in the face for your I swear if you die. <laughs> <laughs> I have plenty of recovery items, I'm fine. I'm fine. Someone's asking if we'll be checking out the DLC. Well, we won't be checking it out right now, but if we keep doing this later on... We are going to check out the end of the tutorial area. Yes. <laughs> uh, we could potentially check out the DLC sometime, yeah. Where this, are we now? This is back where we were. You, there's a shortcut here. You did. Oh yeah, I was supposed to not do the shortcut. Well, that. Well, it's good to activate it. Uh, we should be getting some kind of review or write-up of the DLC on the site soon. So if you're interested in if it's good, look out for that. Accessing random, nonsensical data from the old world. There's no actual meaning behind anything machines do. So, are you ready for the challenge that lies ahead? Easy, light work. You could probably just skip this part. But that experience. I get that speed up. Yeah. You sure you can do it though? Maybe you died because you ran out of here. Maybe I did. Maybe you just got hit too hard. Because it only auto heals you when you get to 30%. Mm. And that's only turned on for the tutorial, so watch out for that later. So. Ow. Oh, you got 12 remaining, it should be fine. You probably just got hit too hard. Yeah, the skimpy outfits of DLC confirmed. Nice. And the CEO fights. Did you see about that? You get to fight like the CEO of Square and stuff. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. That's pretty cool. I want to be a boss fight one day. It's my dream. But what game would I be a boss fight in? Uh, I I would like to be a boss fight in a Yakuza. Yeah, I can see it. Just like. I'd probably be a boss fight Shirts off, butt ass naked, fist fighting in the rain on top of a skyscraper. You don't have to be naked. What? I'd probably be in like Sega Bass Fishing or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, will you be the fish? Just yeah. an Oscar faced <laughs> like, fish? Like Seaman. Seaman. Cape area. Oh gosh, you're so close to the boss. Yeah, well, the truth is, uh, it's, it's arriving now, I suppose. <sighs> well, you gotta at least beat the tutorial, tutorial area in this stream, or I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you'll be allowed to play games again. <laughs> uh, this is what happens when, when you just, I don't know. Get old and over the hill. Wait, that guy. 
Oh yeah, you could laser him. No, his shield is still up. It won't destroy his shield, but it Oh no, it just knocks him back again. Yeah, it just pushed him a little bit. I could have sworn I dodged that. Ah, there we go. You did the knock-up one, but because it's got like a big shield, I guess it didn't connect. Where are we What's even funnier is, you bought this game yourself, and we're not playing it on your account. No. So you're going to have to play this again anyway. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Oh, man. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Getting the short end of the stick here. I, I'm quite enjoying this though. This is a fun game. I don't mind playing it a couple of times. Just uh, avoid more attacks next time. I'm higher level now than I was last time. Somehow. You sure? I can't remember what level you were. Don't. I think I was level three at that point. I have to roll back the tapes. Check the tapes. What's this? Healing item. Is this a healing item? I surveyed the entire factory, but couldn't find oh, anything yeah. resembling our target. Okay, well, Maybe now. they, I don't know, moved it somewhere? Chests. Oh. Is that? Fine. I was just gonna go run and do might need the helium. Yeah, there's more plants and animals here Small than there used recovery. to be. Probably because Medium recovery. You might need those. That's my, uh, my health looks alright. Okay, here we are. Moment of truth. Alright. Oh man. I'm so anxious. I've never been so anxious. <laughs> I can do it. I'm confident. I am confident in this. I think what makes me so anxious is like, I'm not in control of the situation. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like when you're like, in the passenger seat of like a really reckless driver. My entire life feels like that. Like if you if you were driving, it would feel fine because you'd be in control. But I wouldn't bet on that. You just have to just you're in just you're in the seat, and you're just in for the ride. So shit might go down. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> just gotta deal with it. Powerlessness. So which one do you kill first? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Focus on one because I think they have a linked health bar. So. I'm focusing on this guy. No, I'm gonna focus on that guy. This one! Just dodge, don't get caught between them. That's one dodge. Two dodges. Uh, maybe, like, let go of shoot and um, press <laughs> press R1 to do the missile after you dodge. That does a decent amount of damage. I'm laser him as well. Lasers are good. Always use your lasers. Do the thing. Oh no, no, this, this is what killed me last time. Help, Oscar. Help. Just dodge. Just move out of the way. Don't forget you can dash as well. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck. It's fine, laser. it's fine. Laser. I got this, I got this. Hold on. Got your laser. How do I use the thing? Use. Use your laser. Laser. Okay, so he must. One of them must almost be out because you get into about half now. Oh, it almost fell on me. Ooh. Okay, I can't hit the tape now. See, that was such a non-issue this time. What were you even doing before? <laughs> He's only at half health, though. What's happening now? Is it transforming? Yes. It's a robot in disguise. Well, a machine in disguise, specifically. Oh, he's a big boy, isn't he? He looks mean. It's a pretty good vertical leap, though. Such a big guy. Oh, it's easy when you got rocket thrusters. He's like the Brock Lesnar of machines. I've never really been into Brock Lesnar. I know he has fans. 
So what do you do with this guy? Oh! He played like a bad guy, so... I mean, I haven't seen it in a while. This Brock Lesnar's still kind of a bit of a bad guy. He's always a bad guy. That's what he does. There's nothing honorable about what Lesnar does. <laughs> in the ring. <laughs> He has a he has a lack of respect for the for the sport. <laughs> it's always that way with eggs. I'll never forgive what he did. To him. <laughs> <laughs> There's no forgiveness in my heart for Mr. Lesnar. I don't think anyone's ever gonna forgive that. I guess he just plays a good bad guy in a way. Gonna smack his hands together. Yeah. Of course he is. He's played enough video games to know that by now. He's gonna attack with one hand and the other hand, then both at once. Okay, uh, back up. Whoa, it's 9S, your wacky friend. <laughs> could have sworn she just ran closer to that just so she could backflip away from it. Well, wouldn't you? <laughs> Laser him. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Is he playing peekaboo with me now? Run. Should I run away? <laughs> well, what if it instant kills you or something? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Makami comments that the game really holds your hand through the first segment. <laughs> when you die. <laughs> so. <laughs> Do I have to run away again? I suppose there are some cracks there to indicate that maybe you should move. And the camera pans out and everything, yeah. Oh, he's gonna punch me. Extremely slowly. Yeah. Most of the attack telegraphing is like that, with the exception of a few enemies. It takes a while for them to get their hits out. I think because at least on normal mode it doesn't go too hardcore with the hack and slash stuff. Mm. Shot him with his own missiles. Oh man, that's low. Oh, look how sad he looks. Boost! That's very self-sacrificing of him. Gotta hit. Mm. Well, that was that's helpful of him to just like stop moving around. 9S. 9S black box signal detected. No response to communications. I'm going after Wait, him. was I climbing his body earlier? Yeah. Cool, huh? Oh no, he's alive again. This is the first. How oh, come I always end up in these situations? Gotta get that G. Yeah, let's see what we got. Yeah, the soundtrack in this game is really good. Mm. Can I climb faster? Of course you can. She even does a little flip, a little Lara Croft uh, <laughs> Tomb Raider legend esque flip. Remember that? Oh, yeah. I really like Tomb Raider. But, oh, he got. Oh, uh, Tomb Raider Legends is aged terribly. <laughs> really? <laughs> it's really bad, dude. <laughs> it's really bad. I, I enjoyed it a lot of times. It's kind of weird and like chunky. Uh, Protect 9S. Are they hitting 9S? No, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, Mikami's helpfully pointing out that on easy mode the machine will shoot by itself. Oh, really? So if you. You can swap uh, difficulties at any point, I think, if you're having, if you're having trouble. I see. <laughs> That's good to know. Thank you for that. Pod, get me staunching gel and logic virus back. If you think you can even, um, on like, the very easy mode, I think you can even have it so she attacks us. So, then what do you do? do what I say. Watch the game and enjoy it. It's like the Final Fantasy game you were playing. 
Would you shut up, too? Yeah, Mobius. You're having your cup noodle while, while you're watching the gameplay itself. We're soldiers. We it's like Metal Gear or something. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is like a very Metal Gear thing. <laughs> Speaking of which, I bought Metal Gear Solid 5 again yesterday as well. The complete experience for £12. It's kind of awkward because that game was not finished, so there's no such thing as a definitive. The yeah, yeah, I suppose that's true. There's no such thing as a complete edition of that game. That, that, is, that is true. But then, um, I bought it, I was stupid enough to buy it physically. That was before I stopped buying things physically. So, ah, I did a PC, so... Um, figured that I might as well own it digitally as well for 12 quid. <sighs> it's alright. It's okay. It's a good game, I suppose, in its own way. I, I quite like just kind of like screwing around. Just like screwing around doing things. Oh, now what Yeah, it's good at that. Kami just wants to point out that they didn't mean to just they were just being <laughs> But I know the real I know the truth. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, awesome. So you got your missile barrage you can do with L1 as well. I think it's I missile is a lady. Doesn't let me do it. Oh, that's weird. Is it his face with the glowing eyes? Nah. It's gonna hit me back again? No. I thought it was gonna try to bitch smack me, but he didn't do it. How do I pod hack? I don't think you really have to do anything, I think it's just like scripted. Put that right on the chin. Ooh. I just like accidentally dodged that. Affirmative. Infiltrating enemy subunit. Behavior table adjusted. Balance controls overridden. Enemy unit subjugation complete. Oh, I'm gonna punch him with his own arm. It's a bit male here, right? And bayonet, I suppose. I guess there's big demon hands. I think that's what I really enjoy about Metal Gear Rising, because I think there are things in, in uh, Metal Gear Rising that are just the hypest things I've ever seen in a video game. It's such a hype game. Like when you uh, when you you first first fighting that Metal Gear in the first level, like that is probably the hypest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Every level has like a great few hype. But can a machine truly die? Hmm. Mm. Asking the hard questions. I like how she has like a little back window in her dress. <laughs> it's for airflow. Get a bit of a bit of skin. Talk about so she can run faster. She gets the them. airflow going. Mm. Oh, to be. Contact command. Request assistance. No. It doesn't look like that's going to be necessary. Oh, well, oh, this is unfortunate. I don't imagine that <coughs> this is going to end well. The black box. That Ouya. It's ready. <laughs> Whatever happened to the Ouya? Right. Uh, I believe it got bought out by like, not Nvidia, someone like Razer or someone, mm. and they just like farmed it for patents. Oh, nice. Requesting. Mm. There was a period where I was like, kind of excited for the for the prospect of the Ouya, 
Like that was a thing that I wanted to exist. It was an honor to fight with you. Yeah, Mikami points out for easy grinding, you can just switch to easy and then turn auto attacks on, just leave them in an area for a while and then switch it back. It's a good idea actually, like gain some levels while you're having your dinner. I mean, I can do that anyway while playing the game. But is there no. Are there, are there no uh, trophies or anything that require you to be on a certain difficulty level? I don't think so actually, no. Hmm. See. I think level carries over between main playthroughs anyway, so. Trying to figure out why they have like these see through black boxes around the screen. I can move windows. Map. I can move, I can do a thing. I mean, windows. No, like on the, on the screen, it has like. Uh, Saving possible. Yes. Hold on. Right. Oh, we'll save after the sequence. So, mission complete and all that, huh? The Goliaths were wiped out, and we secured a route into enemy territory. Tuvi's always doing can... that. Nine S. Yeah. Thank you for uploading my data to the bunker. Um, I did that. Sorry, there was. I probably only had enough time to back up your memories. Mine are only intact up to the point just before we rendezvoused. I also don't remember what happened. No. Mm. Glory to mankind. Glory to mankind. So, what they got murderized, but they managed to upload themselves before yeah. the well, bad things happened? Imagine, he managed to upload her. He backed up before the mission. Yeah. Message sharing? Is this some Dark Souls type stuff? Kind of. It's not really as well built out as that. It just kind of adds extra save. treasure from corpses. Holy shit, I have an actual save. Nice. I think we'll call it quits there for today. Um, maybe we'll come back to this. It feels like we didn't really get that far, thanks to someone. <laughs> I feel like I did pretty good. <laughs> um... Yeah, thanks for watching us play the beginning. And um, 50, 12, hold on, wait, go to the home menu. Pause this. We don't want to see this yet. Oh, spoilers! Spoilers! Spoilers for we'll next, time. next time. We'll see that next time. Next time a look at on this. Rice Digital. Yeah, um, I'll probably archive this to the YouTube or whatever, and follow us for finding out when we're gonna do some more. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, if you want more near, then you know, tell us. Yes. You don't want to see me suck at near anymore. You know, uh, tell us that we as well. Need to get you to finish Sonic or something. Uh, yeah, if you want to see me suck at Sonic, tell us that. If you want to see Oscar suck at Mario, I'm really good at Mario. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm really good. I'm I'm a Mario speedrun champion. Oh, oh, I I need I require proof of this. Okay, well, I think it's on. I think I have it on the Wii U. So, I don't have it on the Switch Virtual Console because there isn't one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Good point.